Hello world, welcome back to another CTF Learn Challenge video. In this video, we're going to be solving Rubber Duck. Let's get into it. Now, one thing I forgot to mention when I was doing the intro video to this series was that the challenge category is actually listed down here. So this is a forensics challenge. There's another one right here. Ooh, you know me. Forensics is my specialty. I'm always happy to do some of those whenever they come up. Anyways, enough rambling. Let's get started. So we're given an image file here, JPEG. Find the flag, simple forensics challenge to get started with. If it's simple, there's only a couple things that it's going to be. Why don't we go ahead and take a look at it though, first of all. We got the image, let's go ahead and put that in our files here. Let's make a new folder for CTF Learn. And then what's this one called? Rubber Duck. So we'll make another folder for Rubber Duck. And we'll drag that in there. Let's take a look. The image itself. Okay, it's literally a rubber duck. So probably nothing we can do in paint there, which is my first guess. So now I think there might be something in the hex, some, like a string or something, or maybe in the exif data. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bring it over here to our Kali box. And let me go into files, CTF learn. Let's go ahead and make a new folder, call it rubber duck here as well. Drag and drop that in there. Should I think it, yep, that worked. Okay. Now we can play with it. We'll go ahead and navigate into rubber duck. Make sure it's in there. Let's run exif tool first on it. See if it comes back with anything. Oh, right there in the comment. CTF learn, I love Jakarta. Well, that was pretty easy. Now, we probably could have just as easily just run strings on it. Let's see, strings, rubber, duck dot, JPEG. Of course, and it would have come back with a lot. So why don't we do, what the heck? Why don't we do strings and then we'll do a length of 10. And that, all that all that's gonna do is give us back strings that are at least 10 characters long. And then we'll run it on, of course, the file again. There it is right there again. So strings, exif tool, plenty of things could work. Literally could have just popped it open in a hex editor and seen it in there as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, to show your support, click on post notifications to get regular injections of our content directly into your YouTube feed. Check out our Discord and Patreon links in the description box down below and leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye world.